good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health and nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. We welcome your calls on the bright side. Our number is 844-236-6010. If you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. If you want to help a loved one wean themselves off their prescription drugs and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. Likewise, if you have a success story or if you just want to contribute to our conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program or recommended on the program, you can head over to my blog, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com and order products right off the website. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off our blog, or you can go to brightsideben.com and sign up to join and purchase products off brightsideben.com. You can also call the phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Treatment Skin Health products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, you're not going to find that product anywhere except at truthtreatments.com. The most you'll find is a 1% or half percent or even 0.1%. I worked for a company for many years, actually, that sells a, a Retinol product, and they don't tell you how much is in it because they're embarrassed, and I don't blame them. 0.1 or 0.2% is what you'll typically find in a, in a retinol product. Unless you go to truthtreatments.com, 5% retinol gel at truthtreatments.com. Okay, we're talking hormones and hormone health. We've been talking about hormones now for a couple of weeks, particularly as it regards skin health. Hormones are one of two major classes of active chemicals in the body, along with the enzymes. The main hormones, they call them the endocrine hormones, those travel through the blood. They're released from, well, the signals come from the brain, and then they, the signals go to the various glands in the body, and from the glands, they tra- hormones are produced and secreted into the blood, and they initiate chemistry at the cell level. The chemistry they initiate is enzyme chemistry, so hormones and enzymes are like complements. They're two, two sides of the same coin. They're the major biochemical act- actors in the body. The hormones initiate the action, and the enzymes are the action. The enzymes are the actors. They represent the chemistry of the body. The hormones are the initiators. The word hormone means to initiate or to arouse or to activate. Hormeo, from the Greek, to activate or to arouse. The hormone hits the cell, and an enzyme, uh, some kind of enzyme reaction occurs. Hormones, cell, enzymes, in that order. The main control points for how well hormones work are going to be our thoughts and our emotions and our food. That is so cool to me as a healthcare professional. Nothing says liberation from the medical model more clearly than the idea that our hormones, which initiate all the actions in the body, are in our control largely by our thoughts and feelings and our foods. Our thoughts and our emotions and the foods we eat. This is such good news. This is our key to emancipation from the medical model. If hormones are the initiators and nothing happens in the body without their ignition or inspiration, and if we control these initiating factors with our mental and emotional natures and with our diet and the foods we eat, that means we got tremendous control over our bodies and over our health and over how the biochemistry in the body shows up. 
Now, you got two major classes of endocrine hormones. You got the water ones, those are like insulin and thyroid hormone and adrenaline. And we'll probably talk about those a little bit later. But the most fascinating ones to me are the fatty hormones. Those are the steroid hormones. Those are the ones we've been talking about. The fatty hormones, the steroid hormones, these are your stress management hormones. These are your growth hormones. These are your repair hormones, your fertility hormones, your longevity hormones, your anti-aging hormones. The water hormones, those are more for quick reactions, quick activities. But the fatty hormones, the steroid hormones, those are for long-term survival. Now, the steroid hormones are your cholesterol hormones because they are essentially cholesterol. Now, we said this before, but it bears repeating. If you talk to uh, people who know a little bit about nutrition, but not a lot about nutrition, and there's a lot of folks out there who know a little bit about nutrition, but don't really understand chemistry. In fact, unfortunately, a lot of clinical people, a lot of naturopaths, a lot of chiropractors, they understand the clinical side of things, but they don't necessarily know what the heck's going on inside the body from a chemistry perspective. This is my big problem with naturopathy. As much as I love my naturopath, uh, naturopath friends, when you focus on the clinical side rather than the biochemistry side, you don't have power. Your power comes from understanding the chemistry in the body. Always go to a biochemist if you want to understand health, not a clinical person. Naturopaths are certainly better than MDs, but they're still clinical. They're not working at the chemistry level. At the chemistry level, you got to understand, what, if you understand what's going on at the chemistry level, You'll be able to handle your body yourself. You won't need a naturopath. You won't need a pharmacist. You won't need me. You won't need a doctor. You can do it all yourself if you understand what's happening at the chemistry level. So steroid hormones is your growth and fertility hormones. They're all types of cholesterol. And they all require essential fatty acids for their production. This makes fats and cholesterol and essential fatty acids and fat intake and fat absorption unbelievably important when it comes to every single health challenge you can name. And when it comes to fat absorption, we largely talk about the digestive system, the liver and the intestines and the pancreas, even the stomach, even saliva has an impact on how well we process fats. This is the digestive link or one of the major digestive links to all of health. This is why the digestive system is the first point on our triangle of disease. And working on digestive health is the first thing you need to work on no matter what, no matter what your health challenge is. I'm going to be doing a video on tinnitus later on today. By the way, if you want to get our Critical Health News video, send an email to criticalhealthnews.com, uh, uh, info at criticalhealthnews.com. Tell, I just put in the subject heading that you want to be on our video list and our newsletter list. We talked about macular degeneration on one of our videos. Macular degeneration is a, a classic sign of malabsorption of fats at the digestive system level. So when I'm talking to somebody about macular degeneration, the first thing I'm going to say is work on your liver and your bile and your intestines and your pancreas and make sure you're absorbing fats. That's not what your eye doctor is going to tell you. That isn't even what your naturopath is going to tell you because they're working clinically. They're working at the symptom level. They're, they're busy trying to take care of the signs of disease not the causes of disease. Now, of course, sometimes you need to take care of the symptoms. I understand this. But if you really want reversal, which is our birthright, the body can reverse, the body can remit, the body can heal itself. If we really want healing, we got to understand the causes. And more often than not, it's going to be in the digestive system. And more often than not, it's going to be in the fatty part of the digestive system. That means using probiotics. Please do not underestimate the incredible importance between good bacteria, the microbiome, and fat absorption, and steroid processing, steroid hormone processing, and cholesterol processing. And given the fact that most of us got messed up gut bacteria from birth onwards, even inside the womb onwards, it makes perfect sense that we, will be, we would be confronted, confronted with an epidemic of biblical proportions when it comes to chronic degenerative disease. So probiotics, work on intestinal health, use uh, glutamine powder, use glucosamine supplements, use zinc supplements. All of these are important for helping strengthen and stabilizing the, di the intestinal system, the intestines. Probiotics, of course, those goes, go without saying. Also, apple cider vinegar. Lots of ways you can focus on digestive health when it comes to fat absorption and help the body, help the body reverse chronic degenerative disease. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back right after this. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. We are back. 
back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com, also benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. We also have a search engine at brightsideben.com and also benfuchsarchives.com. If you're interested in joining the Brightside Ben team, starting yourself a longevity business and helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, or you can sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. Okay, so we're talking fats and fatty hormones. We say on the program, one of the principal ideas of the bright side philosophy, what I call the bright side philosophy, is all disease is cell disease. You're not going to hear this from your doctor because doctors are not welcome at the level of a cell. The medical model is not welcome at the level of a cell. Cells will not accept doctoring. That's why doctors have to poison the cell or radiate the cell or surgically remove the cell. They can't ask the cell. They can't feed the cell. They can't breathe the cell. They can't detoxify the cell. That's not what medicine is about. But it doesn't matter, because we can do that all ourselves. Feeding with nutritional supplementation and making sure you're absorbing and digesting correctly. Detoxifying by eliminating or reducing sugar intake and eliminating toxicity, which ironically includes medicine. And of course, making sure we're respirating correctly and moving the body around. Moving the body is so important, especially the lymphatic system, which carries fats. The lymphatic system is like a circulatory system for fats. And lymphatic congestion is a major, major health crisis. Breast cancer, female reproductive cancers, gallbladder disease, even tinnitus has a, has a, uh, is connected to issues with the lymphatic system. Yes, tinnitus. There's something called endolymph. There's a lymphatic system in the inner ear. Do you hear that from your doctor? Probably not. Do you hear that from your tinnitus specialist? Probably not. We'll be talking about that on my my tinnitus video if you're interested in checking that out. So all disease is cell disease, but really all cell disease is cell membrane disease. This is the key, that little tiny sliver of oil, thousands of times thinner than a piece of notebook paper. That is the key to understanding how the disease process begins at the cell level, of course, and how to reverse it. And no surprise, the cell membrane is made up of essential fatty acids and cholesterol. Hopefully you guys are getting the idea that focusing on fats is the essential idea when it comes to health and wellness, anti-aging and longevity, and reversing chronic degenerative disease. And by the way, that includes cancer. Cancer is a cell membrane disease. Cancer involves a defective cell membrane. There's no such thing as a cancer cell with a healthy cell membrane. When the, when the cell membrane starts to break down, hormones don't work correctly, the activity inside a cell changes, even the genetics of a cell, even the DNA itself is responsive to the membrane. That means if you want to reverse di uh, uh, diseases that involve genetics, work on fats, work on fat absorption, make sure you're using your ultimate EFAs. Make sure you're using lipase, digestive enzymes, bile salts, lecithin. We'll talk about a whole bunch of nutritional supplements for the fat system of the body tomorrow on the bright side. All of this idea about the wonderful nature of fats, how good fats are, how important fats are, may come as a surprise to you if you're like me and you grew up in the 1960s and 1970s when we were bombarded with anti-fat propaganda and how important low-fat diets were and are. And there's still a lot of folks who believe low-fat is important. There's still a lot of doctors who will tell you, watch out for your fats. Low-fat is important. Yes, it's true that there are issues in the blood, fatty issues in the blood, things called uh, diseases or, or health breakdowns, health challenges called dyslipidemia, which is a fancy way of saying messed up blood fats. But that's mostly sugar, not fats. Yes, sugar. If you really want to get reverse uh, fatty condition in the body, make sure you're eating fat, good fat, and make sure you're reducing your sugar. And make sure you're using supplements that help you process your fat. Somehow we got this idea that not eating fat is a health strategy. And today we know if you follow biochemistry and you keep up with what's going on in the world of health, you know that's bad advice and bad science. And it's becoming more and more recognized, by the way. So there's two types of natural